Howdy, Pilgrim, and welcome to Valter's Bot Emporium. Novelty bionics, pet androids, robotic companions, we've got them all. Hi there. I'm Special Agent Vera Anglin. Ooh, here to solve the murders, right? <laughs> uh... What? Did Pop spill some oil when he lubed my joints this morning? I told you to keep my chassis clean in case of chicks. <sighs> For crying out loud, Nissa, just let the police lady ask her questions. Oh, great. A ventriloquist act. Oh, Yay. no, she's on to us. Fine. You caught me. The man with the blue hat is just a puppet that I'm cunningly controlling with a set of strings. That's a gosh darn lie. <laughs> I'm fully steam powered. All right. Oh, let, let, we're going to remain on the hard ass approach here. This is inappropriate behavior, citizen. I have some questions about the recent murders. This is inappropriate behavior, citizen. I have some questions about the recent murders. Sure thing, officer. Just keep in mind that all of these are just harmless automatons. There's no real CPUs or nothing around here. I'm not here to report illicit technology. I'm just interested in the killings. All right, then shoot. Uh, I mean, ask away. I could shoot him. <laughs> okay. Do you know about the murder of Carl Oscarson? Oh, yeah, poor Carl. He was a friendly guy. Came here buying spare parts every now and then. Spare parts? Like what? All sorts. Filters, tubes, nuts and bolts, various electrical gizmos. Ah, yeah. I think I found what he needed them for. Really? What was it? A water tank of sorts, but that's all I can say. All those parts laying around, but do I ever get a working left arm, Pops? No, you'd rather let some carpenter assemble a goddamn aquarium. <laughs> I could replace Mr. Limpy with a water gun if you prefer. Man, soon you'll even let the kids paint a clown face on me again. With a water gun for an arm, at least you could spray yourself clean afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it you have no idea who killed Carl? None whatsoever. Wrong place, wrong time, maybe. He didn't seem like the type of guy to make enemies, anyhow. Okay, uh, can I not move? All right, I'll have to wait in a moment. What do you know about the murder at the museum? Maya Strand. I don't know anything about the attack. But I worked with her from time to time. Some of my handiwork can be seen in her exhibitions. Ah, they got some robots in there. Yeah, I assembled them from parts I found in the junkyard. Or the bot cemetery, as I like to call it. Sometimes I feel more like an archaeologist than a mechanic. Got it. So do you have any idea who killed Maya? Ooh, I got a theory. No, Nissa, it wasn't the big war robot in the main exhibition. Why not? That thing is huge! It could easily rip people to pieces, or buildings for that matter. I know because I built it, Nissa. It's totally harmless. I don't buy it, Pops. It's got red eyes. That's a telltale sign of a <laughs> bot turned evil. <sighs> what I wanted to say was that Maya could be a little odd, but I have no reason to believe anyone would want to kill her. Pops calling others odd. Now that's a joke that requires no punchline. Walter, try to focus on the subject matter, please. Indeed. Uh, what do we know about the conduit then? What do you then? think of the conduit? Lunatics, plain and simple. I'm surprised to hear you say that, given what you do for a living. Sure, I may seem like the kind of guy who would meddle with AI, but you have to remember that these are just puppets and dolls. That's true. I'm not really a robot. We just pretend I am. That's right, my lad. My family was almost wiped out in the collapse. I wouldn't betray their memory by supporting those nut jobs. I guess you heard what happened in the recycling center. Yeah, I don't know much about it. But man, people dropping dead left and right like this? It's getting real scary out there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? She might also go by the name Melinda. Melinda sounds familiar, but I can't really place her. Sorry. I'm terrible with names, though. More of a visual thinker. Right. 
we actually have what we need. I'm off. See you later. Take care. Bye bye, police lady. I wonder if I can energize this. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Oh, come on. That would have been funny. That combination makes no sense. Oh, boring. All right. Okay, so. We need to find a better picture of Melinda. Whom I don't have any business in this school. Ah, rats. Let me head back there. Maybe I need to show him the picture, actually. I am a fool of a took. Hi again. Hey there. What can I do you for? Do you recognize this young couple? Just the man, Carl Oscarson. Can't see who his lady friend is. Hmm. What about Carl? Do you recognize just the oh, so maybe I don't go there with him yet then. So, what can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh. Well, what you see is what you get. A crazy old fart with chronic coffee breath? Oh, quiet, you little rascal. What I am is a tinkerer, a craftsman, a father of machines. I cherish building them. I adore putting them on display, and I especially love talking to them. I've noticed. So how long have you been building robots? Oh, uh, ever since I was a boy. I grew up over at the junkyard. The place was cramped with old discarded robots. I didn't have many friends, you see. So, I decided to befriend these machines instead. Okay, maybe I'm I can't off. get into the school yet. Take care. Bye yeah. bye. Yeah, shut up. I can't get into I, I can't get into the school yet. That's because I'm being an idiot. I need to go to the museum now. Well, I'm pretty sure I can't get into the school until I don't have any business in the school. Yeah, kind of do, but just not yet. Okay, now, I need to look at the conduit book, because I can't remember this bit off the top of my head. Um, okay, I'm invigorated by faith. I gaze at the skies to ensure that the path is clear. I strike down my foes, blessed with impeccable aim. I'm nearing my goal and I press on for another full day. Jesus. What's going on? Why are you upset? Oh. Hey, babe. Babe. Get a drink, babe. No, you you could wait. Wait, it's called cliffhangers for a reason. <laughs> uh, never get hooked on a book, folks. Never get hooked on a book. Okay, so we've invigorated. These are the star maps. I'm just going to show you the, the order in which you need to do this because if you want to see me fumble around doing it, you can always go and watch the first part. Um, although that will eventually be up on my YouTube. There we go. Whoa. And now we get turned to the hidden room. Da 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 da. Wow, impressive lab. There's got to be a whole bunch of third degree infractions in this place. Maya must have conducted her secret illegal experiments here. Okay. So, Maya's bio. All over the place. Yeah, what have we got here? I can't 
don't remember if Dirty there's laundry. Okay. cassette tapes. That's what we need. There were a couple of tapes here. Thank you. I never. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I can't do anything else in this room. Uh, oh, actually, maybe sketches. Do I need to click on sketches? Various technical. No. Okay, so I need the audio station, and we get to listen to some crazy kooky lady. In a dream, I was summoned by the Acer. I had been chosen to create a new god, so and her name was Holdra. She would be conjured in my mind, and the creed, at long last, would become manifest. I awoke in tears, and this vision has stuck with me ever since. This woman doesn't sound very sane. She's absolutely batshit and crazy, if I'm totally honest with you, Vera. An AI superintelligence would essentially be indistinguishable from a god. Infinite intelligence leads to infinite knowledge, and by extension, infinite power, illness, suffering. Even death itself could be turned into obsolete concepts. And what is a god? If not one who has reign over life and death. Yeah, those are conduit ideas, all right. Oh boy. Um, I'm right, pretty sure there's nothing else I can do here, but I think now maybe I can go to the school. What does the, the worker have to say again? I forget. Hi there. I see that there's been some progress with the fallen power line. Yep. Feel free to head in now. Already did. Thanks. Eh. Where had he got touch? Okay. Now can I enter the school? I don't have any business in the school. But crying out loud. I need to go to the police station then. Oh god, I played this game just last week. I can't believe I can't think of where I need to go. It's so gross. Oh. Hey, Gabe. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? I don't think he'd be interested in that. Yeah. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? She may also go by the name Melinda. I don't know about Katarina, but Melinda? That's the name of the school teacher, I think. At least that's what I heard the kids call her outside. Are you absolutely sure? Positive. As far as I know, she's the only Melinda in Nordsund. That's excellent news. If you see her, take her into custody immediately. And let your colleagues know to be on the lookout, too. Yes, ma'am. Excellent! Now I might actually be able to uh, head into the school. Alright, I'm off. Good luck out there. Now that we actually know that she's the teacher... We can head to the school. Aha! Right, there's absolutely nothing here except showing the bloody photo up to these pictures. Okay, let's see if I can find any similarities between any of these women and the picture I have. Oh, right here. Same brass necklace. This has got to be her. All right, I took the picture. Perhaps someone will recognize her. Right, I now have a picture of Melinda. Melinda! Hmm. I think I need to go and check on the Sprog as well. Because I think we'll find out it's running out of nutrients. Yes, yeah, so there we go. There's that red light again. Something must be wrong. Da 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 da. Okay. Uh, chamber status. Nutrient level critical. 
yes, we need to find a nutrient canister. Which I know exactly where to find. And once I've done that, actually, this time I'm going to close the chamber. Bad. So, to get the nutrient, uh, nutrients, rather, once you get access to the museum's hidden room, head in to the museum, go to the hidden room, and then you can pick up the nutrient canister. Good. Probably think... could. Mm. Yeah, it feels empty. But we know where we can get nutrients, and that is in the apartment upstairs. Now, I think I probably should have gone there before going to the museum, because then I wouldn't have to keep backtracking like this all the time, so... But bear in mind, this is only my second playthrough of this game, so I'm not going to be all that, uh, what's name with it. So, here we go. Let's fill this bad boy all right, up. All filled up. And now we can go and feed the wee bairn. I don't think this game will actually allow you to just let the child, like, die. I certainly don't think that is a possible outcome. Here we go. Into the apartment. Right, now. We use the nutrient canister on the receptacle there. And All right, boom. red light gone. Must have done the trick. Oi, oi, Savaloi. Looks like things are working out okay for you in there. Um, let's stay professional and detached. Makes you think, doesn't it? Uh oh. Seeing a baby like this? Yeah. It reminds me of everything that happened before. Same here. But you know, it's not too late. It is for you, Alex. It is? Well, yeah. You're dead. I am, but you're not. You still have time to make up for what we lost. Huh. Let's be cold about this. I was never mother material, Alex. I just tried to play the part because you needed it so badly. I think part of me knew and didn't care. I'm sorry I pushed you too hard. That's okay. It doesn't really matter now. I guess not. Oh no. Painful memories. What? I should resume my search for Katarina. Now you should. That action doesn't seem pretty. It does to me. Right, console. Chamber. Close. I don't know if that will have any effect on the outcome of what happens to the child. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Okay, now that I have the information on... Right. I've got the picture now. So I can go and show the picture to Volta. And he will immediately tell me everything I need to know. He will close the case. Volta. He is nothing but a legend. This crazy robot maker. Do you know this woman? Oh, her. I sometimes spot her off the beaten path, actually. You do? Where? By the junk heap. Don't know what business she's got there, but I notice her sometimes when I collect parts. She thinks nobody sees her, all sneaky and quick. 
But I've got keen eyes. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Walter. There we go. So now we can effectively access Le Jean Keeper. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, look, Kitty Winks. Hey, you want to go do something? I'm tired. Looks like he's holding some kind of map. You wouldn't be tired if you ate breakfast. What are right, you? Let's go and speak like to Dad? the kids. I feel sick in the morning. Shut up. Hey, kids. Uh, hey. Theo, that's the lady that Miss M. Shut up, Alicia. Now, wait a minute. Alicia, is it? You know Miss M? I, uh... Of course we do, ma'am. We're kids. She's our teacher. Yeah, we just know her from school and stuff. Right, so you haven't seen Miss M around today, have you? Uh-uh. Nope. Hmm. Well, I have a few yeah. questions for you. Oh, we are turning this on. Okay. So... Do you know what happened yesterday to a man named Carl? My friend told me that somebody murdered him with a knife. I bet it was totally gross. I bet you wouldn't say that if you saw it for real, Theo. You'd just be sad. No, uh Yeah, huh? Just like when we found that dead bird. Shut up. It was different. <laughs> okay. Uh... And we need to speak to him about the teacher. So, Katarina is your teacher, right? Nuh uh. Our teacher's name is Melinda, but she prefers Miss M. You know, I need to find Miss M really badly. Do you know where she would go if she was ever in trouble? I don't know. We have no idea, man. Bullshit! I think you know more. Now would be the time to tell me before you get into trouble. There's nothing to say, lady. But, Theo. Alicia, chill. We haven't done anything wrong. I guess. Okay, now this is gonna be interesting. Before... No need. I'm sure that... I was able to show them... I don't need to get them energized. Before I was able to show them... Uh, no, sorry. Need, kids. Okay, bye! Before yeah. I was able to use my sight to be able to see what was on the map but this time I don't have that yes but how do I I don't need to get him energized no Ali feeling rusty yet mm, not really Ah, I can use Energize on the... Of course. Whoa, okay, enough sitting around. Finally, let's get out of here. Aha! Guess they went deeper into the junk heap to play. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Looks like she's milking she's whatever that is. Closely with her eyes, but her expression is blank. Oh. Really, Aztec? What the hell, man? <laughs> what in the name of Satan's portion? I think I far prefer the analytical approach. Uh, this assertive one. I've, I've got her energized. I've got the kids into the heap. But I can't access the damn hidden passage yet. I wonder if heading out and back, maybe the kid's fallen, broken his neck. No. Damn. She's following me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh god, I'm an absolute numpty. Ah, gotcha. Hmm, she's getting nervous when I'm walking around here. Something with this fridge? Well, well, well. 
a hidden switch. Hey, no one's allowed in there. Huh. I have no choice. Oh wait, I'm a special agent kid. My job is to go wherever I need to to catch the bad guys. I'm a special agent kid. My job is to go wherever I need to go to catch the bad guys. But Miss M is not a bad guy. Not one bit. Then you have nothing to be afraid of. I don't hurt people who've done nothing wrong. Ugh, can't believe it was that simple. Again. Can't get too close. That's really high voltage. I need to find someone who knows their way around electronics. Oh, and I think I know exactly who knows their way around electronics. So, now I could go and speak to Volta. You'd think he was the first person you'd need to go speak to. Or at least, that was my um, reasoning the first time around. However, then you got to remember... There was somebody fixing a downed power line at the very beginning. And that is indeed who you need to speak to. Now, I don't know if you need to speak to Volta first to confirm if whether or not that is who you need to speak to, but I'm gonna actually just jump straight ahead and try and speak to the electrician there first to see whether or not it gives me the information that I need. Hey, there's an electrified fence in the junk heap. Can you help disconnect it? I'd love to. But I need to repair this breaker box here first. Okay, but how long will that take? Hard to say, but unless this thing miraculously fixes itself, I could be stuck here all day. Huh. Whoa, I got it! Finally! Time for a break. Hey, there's an electrified fence in the junk heap. Can you help disconnect it? I suppose I have nothing better to do. Lead the way. Ba -na -na. Gotta the be chilling. Is kinda crazy, ah, there we go. So I'll only be able to cut the power briefly. Wait for a window and then do your business, but don't take too long or the power will come back on. Got it. I'll go check it out and let you know when I'm done. Okay, good luck. Oh boy. So that's an uh, interesting way of doing things. So now we can head back to the concealed tunnel, whereas before I'd have to work out the voltage and actually gain access myself. This time round... There we go. Just got to time it right, baby. Can I access anything else here? No. Here we go. Alright, let's be interesting. Don't move. Oh. Wait, you're that city cop. Fuck, I was expecting... Oh. Today is not your day, sister. Oh, it is. Gah. Shit! Well... What are you waiting for? Finish me off then. Step away from the weapon. Get on your knees and turn around. Oh, fuck, this hurts. Oh. Okay, sister. You win. Well, that's kind of what you get for trying to shoot me. So, you believe that the killer is after you now? I know he is. He got Maya and Carl. I'm next, obviously. Let's not forget Leonard Dahl. He was butchered this morning. Leonard? The, the recycling guy? Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. That, that's odd. Odd how? Because, actually, I have to give you the whole story for it to make sense. Carl and I wanted a child, but I, I can't. I have viable eggs, but there are other complications. Okay. My condolences. However, rotten luck doesn't mean you can break the law. Life isn't fair. I didn't think you'd understand. 
we saw a chance and took it. So anyway, we came into contact with a woman called Maya Strand who claimed that she could help us have a baby. She'd built a replica of an old womb tank. Forbidden technology, of course. I see. And what did she want in return? Our help with some of her other shady experiments. The lady was somewhat frail. She couldn't handle much heavy labor. She eventually revealed that she was a self-proclaimed member of the Conduit. Probably figured we had too much to lose to turn her in. She was right. Yes, I found the Conduit connection. Playing with fire. Yeah, so Carl and I decided to play along until after the birth and then escape Nordsend as a family. So you merely pretended to sympathize with Conduit beliefs, and then Maya was murdered. Yes, Epos did it, I'm sure. Those assholes must have found out. <laughs> Epos. That rings a bell. Earth Preservation Orthodox Society. Anti-tech group. You must have heard of them over at the Bureau. Used to be terrorist classified. Oh yeah, I remember. So they have a church here in Nordsund? Yep, near the old mall in Northtown. Big place. They get visitors from all over. Okay. Why do you believe Epos is responsible for the murders? Who else? There's only one group still violently opposing the conduit, and that is Epos. There's a hole in this murder theory, though. Leonard Dahl. Oh, yeah. No idea how that guy fits into all this. Could be unrelated. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Unrelated is improbable given the historically low murder rate of Nordsund. Perhaps Leonard was Epos and you killed him to avenge your friends. And now you're holed up in here, terrified of further retaliation from his people. Am I getting warm? <laughs> Not bad, sister, but no. You're way off the mark. I had nothing to do with that. I guess we'll see. Now. If all of this is true, why did you take a new name when you came to Nordsund? It's a long story, but I left a life that was pretty ugly. I had to escape an abusive boyfriend. I needed a fresh start here in Nordsund. The nickname thing just happened. It felt natural and then, well, I guess it stuck. <laughs> that doesn't explain why your relationship with Carl was kept a secret though. Carl and I happened really fast. It wasn't so much intentionally kept a secret, it just never became a public thing. When we started collaborating with Maya, we obviously had all the more reason to keep things quiet. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give all of this some thought and report to my superior. I'll be back later if I come up with more questions. Okay, before you go, just... the womb tank. The nutrients must be running low by now. Without replenishment, he could be hurt. Even die. You don't need to worry. I replaced the canister today. The baby was fine. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Right, so it seems some choices have come through now. Uh, Katarina doesn't really have much else in the way of information, I don't think. Um... I need to pick your brain about- Okay. Okay, so we know she's given us all about that. Uh, what does she know about Carl? What can you tell me about Carl? I'd rather not talk about him. It hurts too much. I understand. Sorry. No. I'd be sorry. Okay. Right. All right. We'll I got what that. I needed for now. Good. Talk to you later. So I think we can head out a of here now. Desk with, a with a layer of dust on it. Just check here. A bug out bag, I'm guessing. A long distance radio. It's connected to the roof, so I'm guessing there's an exterior antenna hidden among the junk. Pretty clever. Okay. We can head out now. I'm gonna head out now. Don't go too far. In this condition, hardly. I'm gonna need plenty of rest. <laughs> you have to admit you had it coming. I'll be back later. 
Damn straight she had it coming. Okay. Stina. Agent England, right on time. Councilwoman. Right on oh, time. That word always makes me feel old. Call me Stina. All right then, Stina. I have some things to report. Always straight to the point. You allergic to small talk, kiddo? Sorry, been a long day. I just want it to be over. Well, suck it up. I need to vent. <laughs> An argument with a friend today. Yeah? What about? Not important, but we ended up going our separate ways. Isn't it funny how quickly things can change? Oh, yes. I guess. History, trust, respect. Poof. Gone. She had an altercation with a friend today. A bit of a falling out, you could say. Of course you did, Stina. Uh, shame, but I see it as a natural cycle of things. People grow apart. Okay. A shame, okay. but I see it as a natural cycle of things. People grow apart. Did you know that on average, friendships last for seven years? <laughs> Aren't you the walking encyclopedia? Oh, that's the analytical So one, I though. wanted to share something else. My augmentations grew stronger this morning. The blue is starting to adapt to my psychology. Blossoming before my very eyes, are ya? Do tell. What new things can you do? Do I go all oh, this and that? Nah, we'll just be open it's hard about to it. Describe, but I can transfer energy to electronic devices and living things. Sounds trippy. But then again, blue often is. You know, back in the day, I petitioned to have it renamed Ambrosia. Food of the gods. Not a bad name. Right? A sign of hubris, someone said. Shouldn't ever forget that we're mere humans, just with a new set of fancy tools. Then again, without the Ambrosia, even the gods would wither and die. Exactly my point. <laughs> so, how was this recent experience of yours? Quite a ride for a rookie such as yourself, am I right? Oh yeah, peachy. I was well prepared, didn't sleep through the whole training, you know? Uh... Yeah, there we go. You're being quite inquisitive as to my experiences with Blue. I'd prefer to discuss the case now. Such professionalism. It'll wear off once you reach my age. Now, let's hear your report. I've heard rumors about quite a grisly spectacle in the recycling center. Yeah, you'd know all about it, wouldn't you, Stina? Epos, huh? Those guys are gonna be a pain to deal with. First, they're well armed. Second, they got pulled with City Hall. Our beloved mayor recently granted their church embassy status. Wait, what? So they're out of my jurisdiction? Not quite. It's one of those legal limbos. Sure, you can force your way in without breaking any laws, but they also have the right to defend themselves from unsanctioned intruders. That's absurd. In other words, they can gun me down without repercussions. I wouldn't say that. It's kind of a hassle to dispose of your still warm corpse. Like this case couldn't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're an agent. The creme de la creme of the Central Bureau. Time to act like one. Infiltrate and evade, remember? If you do find evidence that these nut jobs are responsible for the killings, we'll get a diplomatic warrant. All right. I have to be discreet then, and try to get inside without arousing suspicion. Bingo. And, well, hope they don't already know who you are. That would make things awkward. Okay, then. I'll get some rest and visit the church in the morning. Good plan, Agent. Dismissed. I wonder what additional power I'm going to get, then. I wonder what additional power I'm going to receive to help me get into the church, because before I got invisibility... Yes, that would be interesting. You know the story of Katarina and Carl reminds me so much of what we went through. Yeah, similar circumstances, but where we remained strong, she gave in. 
she should know that life isn't fair. Everyone suffers. If people ignore the rules and act purely based on self-interest, society collapses. Well, I admire her. She refused to be dictated by laws made by long dead people for the sake of her family. I can't see anything nobler than that. Still a bit of an anarchist, aren't you? <laughs> I guess so. Dead people tend to get stuck in their ways. Yes. <sighs> this can't be healthy. No, it cannot. There's that feeling again. Oh, what are we getting? What are we getting? Whoa. Remote control a person. Only simple actions can be performed, such as walking around and moving objects. Taking control causes brief twitching and grimacing, potentially alerting nearby allies. Okay. Hang on. Right. Anyway, that, folks, is where I'm going to leave it for now. So I certainly hope you thoroughly enjoyed this current uh, beginning of the second playthrough of whispers of a machine so i will see you all in the next installment possibly tomorrow evening you all take it easy and i'll see you all again soon bye bye